finally we are going to start with most important topic in javascript that is form many people heard of dom but 100% they are not sure what actually dom is what we can do using dom what dom can provide what are the things we can do what are the actions we can perform using dom why dom is used from where dom comes so many concepts so many things so many confusions and so many questions everybody will be having when they start with dom so dom is nothing but it stands for document object model you don't have to get scared with this word document object model object we have already seen complete topic on object but you literally don't have to worry about this word document object model dom stands for document object model if you see this complete dom series you will be able to understand completely about dom you will be able to start creating your own project start accessing the elements doing lot of stuff if you understand about dom so i suggest you to watch complete series because i am going to explain you every topic related to dom so first let us see what are the topics we are going to understand we are going to learn in this series i will be dividing the sections into parts so that every topic related to that particular thing will be taught in that part so in part 1 first we are going to see dom introduction we will understand what dom is from where dom comes why we have to use dom and everything then we will see what can we do with dom what are the things what are the actions that can be performed using dom then we will see the structure of dom and also we are going to understand what is document as i mentioned dom stands for document object model so we will understand what is that document then we will see what is dom you don't have to worry about this words dom bom so everything each and everything has a different role in this section so everything i will be explaining you then we will see bom versus window versus dom versus javascript so this will be very important to understand the differences and what is this and we will see dom versus javascript and also we are going to see what is not a dom from 1 to 7 we are going to only understand what is dom then we are going to understand what is not a dom so people will be having lot of confusion in this part but i will be explaining you step by step process so that you will understand what is dom and what is not a dom so this all will be the first part we are going to cover in this section then we are going to move to part and inside this we are going to learn dom api if you have already understood dom if you have already learned about dom you would have seen many methods many properties inside dom you will understand from where that properties come who will be providing that methods so that we are going to understand in dom api we will see where does javascript lives and also we will understand more about dom we will see what is not a dom so in this part two section everything we are going to combine and we will see more about dom this will be the part two section then inside part three we are going to see how to access the dom accessing dom is very important then we will understand little bit of html we are going to see in practical as well as theoretical part so that both the concepts will be simultaneously understood then we are going to see selectors inside selectors we are going to see get element by id get elements by class name get elements by tag name query selector and query select all these all methods are very important and each method will be returning different values that also we are going to see and also we will be seeing the differences between them and why we should use this particular method then we are going to move to part 4 inside this we will understand what are nodes 
what are the different types of nodes how to identify nodes in our html structure and what is the difference between node name and tag name then finally we will see the differences between html collection versus note list we will understand what is live versus static list in part 5 section we will see how to traverse the dom parent child siblings we are going to cover inside part 5 section almost everything related to dom we are going to understand and we are going to traverse each and every element and we are going to get the result then part 6 we are going to see how to create dom elements we will understand parent child siblings how to traverse and everything now we should start creating dom elements how to dynamically create dom elements we are going to understand how to remove or delete dom elements how to clone dom elements how to duplicate dom elements so these are the important topics in dom and finally in part 7 we are going to see the project whatever concept we have learned till now in this dom we are going to cover all the things and we are going to put inside the project and we will be making one big project in dom so that you will understand every concept and you will be able to make your own dom project you will be able to access element delete element traverse the dom everything you will be able to cover and also you will be getting to know the differences between each and everything node list html list why we are using this why we are getting this everything related to dom you are going to understand so i suggest you to follow along with me complete the series do the projects along with me type by yourself understand by yourself only then you will understand dom so dom is most important topic in javascript without dom our websites are useless our javascript is useless because without dom we cannot do anything inside our website so be focused be motivated so let's start with dom and understand every topic inside the dom